Alright, welcome back to Asgard. This is episode four, yes, four, of our uh, Revolution 2 Let's Play series for modded Minecraft. So last episode we got our sifter built, and I've actually had it running pretty much non-stop. Um, I did do quite a bit of mining. Um, this isn't all of it. Altogether, I had close to 30 stacks of iron. So I've had this thing running pretty much constant. Um, of course I got this set up so I can just you know dump iron into here and it's gonna run through the meal and then into the sifter and then down here. So and I've already cooked up a lot of iron. Um, <clears throat> yeah so and then there's a bunch in here as well. I also went and mined that redstone. Did quite a bit of mining. I actually found some silver. I haven't processed it yet. And I've been working on the seeds. Um, I'm doing potatoes, wheat. Let me go ahead and harvest this, actually. And soybean. I was doing carrots over here, but I had a weed infestation that pretty much wiped those out last night. So, because um, I didn't get back over here to check it in time. And this right here, if you notice in the the chat there, it's a chunk loader. Devco, the way it works is you'll have your offline. I mean your online chunk loaders, like when you're on, you do that with a block of iron and then you hit it with a blaze rod, which I haven't been to the nether, but I actually just purchased one from the admin shop here for 14 uh, game dollars, so, which, if you notice right now, my balance is 71. You get some money whenever you vote and stuff. Um, and I did expand our raspberry bushes a little bit. Blackberries haven't started populating, so um, once the sun comes up, I'll show you what, how much mining I've done. There's so much iron down there; it's ridiculous. Um, but we do actually have quite a bit to get through today. I set this chest up here. This is stuff we're kind of going to be working on. So um, also, I did build a chisel for that. You just put a stick here and then an iron bar there. And the reason I made that, I was going to see if you could chisel the torches, and maybe they wouldn't go out. However, um, chiseled torches are disabled. Um, it, it does seem like in Revolution 2. Also worth noting, um, watering can is disabled. I was actually going to build that this episode to, to help speed this process up, but it is disabled. So, um, the first thing I'm going to show you here today, in case you don't know, Agricraft, since I've got this going... If you notice, I planted these two here. That's a 255 and a 145. You can see that at the bottom right of my screen. Um, they've crossbred, so we're actually going to take this seed and we're going to put it in the seed analyzer. And see, now that is a 165. So we've got one on growth, so it's still going to grow pretty slow, but six on gain. So chances are when we harvest it, we'll get two soybeans and then a strength of five. So it's going to resist um, weeds pretty decently. So, if you notice, whenever I harvested that, I got two soybeans. So, I've just kind of been throwing my extra seeds over there. So, um, also I did notice that you can't eat soybeans. Even though they're listed as um, a nourishing morsel, when I try to eat them, it consumes them, but then my hunger will just go back down and they appear back in my inventory. I imagine that's probably a bug, but... Um, just be aware of that. But the reason I've planted these, uh, the wheat, the potatoes, the soybeans, and I was doing carrots, is <clears throat> what I'm hoping to get into here relatively soon is I'm going to make chicken pot pies because they're wholesome meals and you can actually make them with tofu. So we'll have to make bakeware and then we'll have to make dough, which isn't too bad. We're going to need salt, flour, and water buckets with a mixing bowl. However, salt, you can actually, not that salt, um, let's see, I think it's the, no, it's not the rotary craft one, let me see, it's the Pam's Harvest Craft, you can use a pot and a water bucket, and combine those together and you can get salt, so, but alright, let's get started, the first thing I'm going to do is, since we've got these info fragments, and I haven't shown you how to use them, um, I'm going to show you that real quick. So you've got your chromic lexicon here. And we're not going to get too much into chromatic craft right this second. We will probably start on it um, in a couple episodes. But I'm still kind of 
exploring and stuff because you you actually get progress here as you explore which as if you notice um, like monster slayer certain creatures prove vicious and will need to be dealt with conveniently they drop useful items when killed the way chromaticraft works is you're gonna kill monsters for that one for example and as you kill monsters after a while you will get the research and it'll actually link down into this tree here and like tangible energy um, you have to find crystals and you have to just kind of pretty much play the game and you'll um, unlock stuff but you can also get these info fragments and there's two primary ways to get them one is chests which is how I got these um, from the village chests and also dungeon chests and whatnot um, the other way is actually to those um, pylons over there if any intelligent creature is killed by them which is players witches and villagers if any intelligent creature is killed by them you have different uh, chance percentage chance to get info fragments um, players will be a hundred percent chance but it does have a cooldown so you can't just go over there and just keep killing yourself so but to get these info fragments into your book you'll take your chromic lexicon and shift right click and it'll open up this little GUI here and you can just put your info fragments into there shift click them and say they'll come up in here they'll be s split up because there's 192 different info fragments to fill it with so and now if we open this up see we can open up the page on the casting table um, see should be able to look at the crafting recipe of it but we're not able to um, Hmm. Actually, it's right here. If you click, that's on items. You have to click down here on recipes, and then you can click it and see the crafting recipe for it. So the casting table is one of the primary things we're going to need, so we'll get that made, but not this episode. I'm not going to focus on Chromaticraft this episode. I just kind of wanted to show you how to um, get those put into your book. So I was also thinking about starting bees this episode, but um, I'm going to hold off on that just a little bit. And bees are something I'm not going to do that on camera a lot, but I will show you kind of how to get started and everything. So, But I know bees aren't the most exciting thing to watch. So the first thing we're going to get built today is actually going to be the coke oven. <coughs> um, we will be using... Uh, Okay, we're not going to be using the Railcraft one. I guess we're going to be using the Immersive Engineering one. Um, let me just type in Coke. Okay. Yeah, Immersive Engineering. So it's clay, bricks, and sandstone, which I've already prepped all of that. So we'll go ahead and set this up here. That'll get us 28 Coke oven bricks. And if I recall correctly, we're going to set it up just like that. And we actually had a quest book entry for that. So let's go ahead and open this up. Yeah, we're going to have to make an engineer's hammer. That's what I forgot about making. Um, let me see. I believe it's just two iron and two sticks, but I need to double check, because there's so many different hammers and whatnot. Okay, yeah, and it takes string on the top, so. Um, let me grab. I know I had some string set out for this episode, so I didn't have to go through all these chests and everything. I was trying to get everything prepped and all, so it would make moving through a little bit quicker. Alright. And if I recall correctly, I believe it's is it four high on these ones? No. It's just three high. Thinking of something else. And then once it's done, you just smack it with the hammer. And see now, we've got a coke oven. So what you're going to do is you can actually put wood in there or coal. 
and I kind of built it down to the floor. I'll probably raise it. I was thinking for some reason that it was four high. I don't know what I was thinking. But you're going to put that coal in there, and it takes a while to burn through it. But when it's finished, it's going to make coal coke, which is um, where this has a burn time of 1600. Coal coke, if I remember correctly, is eight times stronger or something. It's around 20,000 burn time. So it's actually quite a bit more powerful, and it's going to produce um, um, creosote oil. So, which we'll actually use that for making treated, uh, treated sticks. So we can actually get into power with water mills and windmills with immersive engineering. We'll also use it if we want to make um, tracks from railcraft. So we can make a minecart system and whatnot. So, and we also have to get, oh, we have to get eight coal coke to finish that quest, which honestly, I believe, yeah, I'm totally out of coal. So... Um, between this episode and next, I'll do a bit more mining, or I might cut camera in a little bit and go get some some uh, coal. But I don't want to make you guys have to sit through that, so we'll move on to our next item of business, which is we're going to make a presser. So that's one of the things I was making, I was growing these soybeans for, because I was looking through the Pam's Harvest Craft recipes, trying to find a good source of food for us, <coughs> and chicken pot pies seem to be the easiest because we can actually just grow all that and it's not too difficult for us in the um, in the early stages so and I was actually thinking about making a freezer this episode but I couldn't find any lappies so between this episode and next I'm gonna keep looking for lappies and hopefully I'll find some so for this we're just gonna need a couple pistons and six iron ingots which I actually have the piston set out here iron of course is right here and we'll set that in there like this and there we go we got a presser and what we're going to use this for um i've kind of got this all organized we'll just stick the presser in right uh, actually no we'll stick the presser right here so what we're going to do is our soybeans for example Oh, these are done. Let's take a look at these wheat seeds here. And our potato seeds are done actually too. So we got 153. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to look here. I got a 134 and a 153. So naturally, we are going to replace the 134 with a stronger seed. So, and we'll quickly do the same for the potatoes. Which I actually had an issue getting the potatoes to start. I kept getting 112 like over and over and over again but finally we're getting out of that stage and moving into a little bit better potatoes so okay so now that we've got the presser the presser is actually really nice you can make paper if you press wood um, but what we're going to use it for is actually pressing these soybeans down and we get silk and tofu which that does still rot so we have to be aware of that uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to take the silken tofu, which of course it won't stack because it's different stages of rotten. And then we're going to take the silken tofu and press it again. Because <clears throat> if you recall, the chicken pot pie actually takes firm tofu or chicken. So that makes firm tofu and soy milk. So we're actually getting a couple different things out of this, which is definitely definitely going to help us out quite a bit. Which the soy milk, we can just drink it, but we can also use it to make cakes, bread, you know, pretty much anything where milk is used, we can do with soy milk. So, and there we go. And you can actually drink it, and it's not not a bad food source at all. And of course, you can just eat the tofu. So, which right now, um, I don't believe I have the stuff. Yeah, because I don't have carrots. All my carrots went bad. So, we're actually not going to make chicken pot pie right now. The rotting thing definitely makes stuff quite a bit harder on us. However, once we can get a freezer built, that's going to help us keep our food from spoiling so quick. <coughs> so, um... 
so we've got the presser done and hopefully next episode we'll be eating uh, pot pie and whatnot because I'm planning on getting some more carrots going after this episode and um, try to work those through so next up we're gonna make an ag journal for the seed analyzer because as of right now I mean we can analyze the seeds and everything but we can't actually see info on these different types of plants that we're growing so we're gonna grab <coughs> that and that and you know what I don't have is a feather I could have swore I had one so we're actually gonna run out and kill a chicken real quick and then after this we're actually gonna get in some really nice things oh there's those spider pigs that are from um, mutant creatures I believe is the name of the mod <coughs> And I'll actually show you how these uh, pylons work too, since I have health and hunger and all that stuff. If you get up close to them... Okay, there we go. And it's zapping us pretty hard. But if you notice, now we have Water Breathing 3. So, it doesn't last for a really long time, but... That is something. Oh yeah, we have carrots planted over here. I totally forgot about that. So we might actually make a chicken pot pie this episode. So I'll have to get some more soybeans, but that's not too much of an issue. So let's actually go ahead and get carrots. And let's go ahead and draw some water. And I'm going to go ahead and harvest these while I'm over here. We'll try to make a few things of chicken pot pie. Alright, we got our feather. So what we're going to need to do, let's run on back to the house. Because <coughs> the fact that there's a spider pig running them around and whatnot. Actually, real quick, while we're over here, I'm going to... Hmm, let me see here. Oh, it's right here. I'm going to actually run down here, which I did look about trying to figure out a way to automate that uh, slice. But um, there really doesn't seem to be a way to do it. And the output and stuff, it's just not worth it to me at this point. So we're not going to we're not going to worry too much about it. But yeah, this is where the iron used to be. And if you notice, I've been digging and digging and digging. And this has all been iron, too. And there's still iron back here. And I also started digging out this way. Yeah, and this is back in the central chamber. And I was digging back out this way. And... More cinnabar. I ran into this super wall of iron. So, from what I understand, these can extend just tons of blocks. So we'll have iron to keep us busy for quite a while. And this back here was all iron. And there's also been tin scattered around in here. Of course, you saw cinnabar and amber. So we've had quite a bit of mining going on. Um, let me warp on back home real quick. And we'll get that ag journal made. So, and actually we'll make a chicken pot pie, because due to the fact that we got hurt, we're actually kind of low on health, so. Flour's pretty easy to make. We'll make a mortar and pestle, which is three stone and a stick. So we've got some stone here. And a stick. That makes our mortar and pestle. So we can actually take this and make flour. Which, if you notice, flour does not go rotten. So you can, if you want to, you can just make up all your flour there. And then next up, we're going to want to make a mixing bowl. Or no, we're going to have to make the salt first. So we're going to need a pot, which is four iron and a stick. <coughs> and put that into there. And then we can actually take the pot and the water and get salt. And we get our, of course, we get our bucket back. So, 
and salt also doesn't go bad so you can make up a bunch of it and just have it and then oh yeah we're gonna need more water Whoops. and a mixing bowl which is three planks of wood and we'll just grab willow wood and like that now we've got our mixing bowl and let me run back to the river real quick and grab water and of course we got berries coming in I'd say we're starting to get pretty decent with food especially once we get these chicken pot pies going um, we will have plenty of food so I'm gonna run right over here there's like a little pond then we'll probably just warp home because it's getting dark and I can't sprint right now due to hunger so I need to put a infinite water source over there actually okay so now that we've got that let's go ahead and make oh can't shift click it in there all right let's go ahead and make our dough and if you notice you can also make up a bunch of that because that's another thing that does not go bad so and then we've got everything except for our bakeware which takes eight bricks so we're actually we have to cook this up real quick oh I do have coal <laughs> I lied let's go ahead and throw that in there and we might be able to turn that in by the end of the episode so we'll break this real quick oh world save and throw that in there of course my inventory is already getting bad <coughs> and we won't need that or that or that okay and while that's cooking I'm gonna quickly make that ag journal so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a book ink sack and a feather which of course gets us a book and a quill that's a vanilla recipe then we're gonna take um, seeds let me see here what kind of seeds do we have multiples of barley we got a bunch of barley so let's just grab four of those and you're gonna put your crop sticks around the outside here and your seeds around the middle on the inner sides there and get your agriculture journal now what you can do the best thing to do is just put this into here and then um, we'll just break this one real quick so we'll put if you notice it says zero discovered seeds now every time you scan a seed it's gonna add um, one to that counter as long as you haven't previously discovered that seed so what you can do is you can actually click right here and flip through your pages and you can see the brightness range that you need to grow these what it produces and the different growth stages and you can also see the mutations that you've discovered with it because one thing about agrocraft that we haven't gotten into yet is you can actually crossbreed your seeds and so let's say you take um, I can't think of any off the top of my head but if we just go to agrocraft here so for example poppy you can actually crop mutate that if you take pumpkin seeds and sugarcane seeds and plant them next to each other and it'll show you what kind of grounds you need like for example sugarcane you have to have sand to grow it and that is a cross between carrots and seeds so you can get all kinds of different crops and whatnot just by crossbreeding which without the watering can I will say it does take quite a while to do um, we're actually gonna break that we're going to grab our soybeans here and we are going to go ahead and start pressing those because we're going to need that of course for our pot pie so let's go ahead and make our bakeware and now we just need the tofu and I need to replace this torch um, I've been looking into alternate forms of lighting that I don't have to break all the time because it does become quite a bit of a hassle to have to break that so alright and 
There we go. Tofu. And now what we can do, we can just take our bakeware, our tofu, our dough. Oh, well, we could have done chicken too. I didn't think about that. But anyway, and that makes us a chicken pot pie. And these, these uh, cookware stuff, you can use indefinitely, and they're not going to go bad. But see, if you notice, that chicken pot pie actually recovers quite a bit of hunger and gives us a decent amount of saturation, which is also uh, very much a plus. So next up, we are going to... I'm trying to get through all the stuff I had planned, because it's... I actually had quite a bit planned for this episode. Um, we're going to make a tanning rack. And if you notice, we actually have a quest to do so right here. And they want us to make four different, or four tanning racks, which isn't too bad. Um, I believe we've got everything for it. Yeah, just sticks and string. So, I actually only put enough string in there for one tanning rack. So, let's see. Okay. And we're just going to go like this. Oh, I'm short a couple. Let me grab a couple more sticks here. And like that. Pretty easy recipe, but it is going to be quite helpful. And if you noticed back uh, a couple episodes ago, when I was killing cows to try to survive, um, <clears throat> we actually got a lot of leather. Like, there's eight there, but there's a stack of 64 right here. So what we can do is... Oh, so short on space. I have been working on that uh, new area that we will be moving into. But, of course, it, it does take quite a bit of time to do that. So... Um, for now, let's just... Hmm. Let's just open up. Actually, I've got a shovel. No, I don't. I lied. Well, we'll use the sculpting shovel. I don't care. And of course, the <coughs> um, Enviro Mine stuff makes the dirt fall when there's no support for it. But we'll go ahead and set up our tanning racks just like this for now. And we're going to set that up like that. And you got to be careful with these torches because they will actually light wooden things on fire if you're not careful. So we're trying to <laughs> trying to figure out a place that we can set this and not burn everything down. Um, maybe that chest right there makes it difficult to say. Okay, we'll set it right there. That should be all right. And let's go ahead and... Uh, we're not going to be able to do that, huh? We'll do that. And so what's going to happen is this leather is slowly going to tan. Hopefully by the end of the episode we will have some tan leather and I can show you what it looks like. Assuming harder wildlife. I don't know for sure if these actually have to be in the sun. That's a possibility. But we'll see. And then the next thing yeah, it wants us to get 16 leather. And the next thing we're going to work on is this tool tinkering. So what we're going to have to do oh, we're going to need coal for that too. Shoot. Uh, I can spare one and still get the aid out of it. We're going to have to make an anvil, which anvils are something I always dread making just because they are quite expensive as far as iron goes. And with a pack like this where iron and stuff is quite a bit harder to come by, you don't want to spend a lot, especially early on. It's about a half a stack to make an anvil. But it's actually going to be quite useful for us. So, we're also going to need an iron pick. 
and of course they want us to make um, this pick for the quest so that is fine and it's actually going to be quite useful for us so you're going to ideally you're going to want a brand new iron pick you're going to throw this in there with a piece of coal and you're going to get this if you notice where it says current upgrades I don't have the levels for it shoot I've only got 18 levels so we may have to wait but basically I'm showing you how to do it um, I'll probably do this off camera but it's going to mine a 3 by one area so it's really similar to the hammer from Tinker's Constructs if you're familiar with that so um, that's an early game way of getting uh, something similar to the hammer so that you can just mine a bit quicker and it'll actually be quite useful once we get that going but it does cost like I said it does cost a lot of levels especially at this point um, this point in the game so um, go ahead and set up these seeds Like that. I'm just gonna throw those over there, and we could actually do with a little bit more food. So let's go ahead and just drink our soy milk, and our coal coke should be getting done. This leather, however, seems to be taking a while. Let me set one out in the sun, actually, and we'll see if. Oh, we got leather. Okay. So they don't have to be in the sun. Okay, I guess they just finished. Because I was right-clicking them before and it wasn't letting me. But now we've got four leather. So, there we go. Doesn't have to be in the sun. It definitely makes it quite a bit easier on us. Um, and, of course, for the quest, we're going to need to get 16 to get two beef jerky in our tunic. And then here in a second, we should have our eight coal coke. Yeah, actually, perfect timing. And we'll go ahead and turn this quest in, getting us seven blaze rods and 56 nether bricks, which we'll actually use that for making our blast bricks. And that will be used to make steel, which we probably won't get into that this episode because, yeah, this episode's already about 30 minutes. Um, I'll throw that in this chest here, all this stuff that we're working with. And then, um, let me see some. Oh, yeah. We're also going to get into making a windmill. We're pretty close to getting into power, uh, water wheel and windmill. We're just going to need quite a bit of that creosote to get it started. So, to make our treated wood and treated sticks. Then we've also got a quest here that opened up, and we've actually completed this first one for making the Agricraft Journal. So we'll get a stone scythe for that. Now it's going to want us to craft a seed analyzer, so we're going to have to do that manually to get that quest done, which is just four crop sticks and four bone meal. I will probably do that off camera. And um, then we'll probably make this next episode and just to do it uh, and to get into some of the, like the oven and different things. So, um, I was considering actually building over at our actual base, I was considering making like an area there that had like four or so of these meals, um, and maybe next episode running it all together with, um, pipes, uh, transport pipes, and setting it up so that we can automatically go through like a bunch of iron and whatnot like what we have up here however um, we're gonna be able to get a lot better output out of our metals here very very soon because we're gonna be getting into the blast furnace and the um, pulverizer and stuff once we have power so I decided just to, to hold off on that and um, and not not build a bunch of meals because we won't be using them too much longer ideally so <clears throat> that's why I haven't um, uh, automated this and whatnot and made it a bit quicker 
So, but I, I do believe we're going to end this episode here. If you've enjoyed it, please comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends. It's much appreciated. Um, and if you have any um, things you'd like to see or things you'd like for me to do or um, any um, any advice or anything, please let me know. Um, today I will actually be ordering my Blue Yeti and my... Um, recording box and my new monitor and everything so hopefully here pretty soon that'll come in and we'll have a lot better quality as far as the videos go and um, and yeah so definitely um, keep an eye out for that and like I said if you have any things you'd like to see or whatnot just please let me know I'm, I'm definitely open f up for um, criticism and stuff and any advice is, is definitely appreciated so um, but yeah, until next episode, uh, do take care, and I will see you then.